Hello guys, welcome to Expertizer Academy Civil 3D tutorial. Today we're going to see how to use um, 3D blocks on top of an existing surface and move it to the top of the surface. And um, so this is in conjunction with the draping of surface. So if you've got a satellite imagery, you can drape it on top of a surface and then you can put some um, uh, 3D points on top of it. Okay, so let's see how to do it. So first, uh, for draping, there is a separate lesson that you can go through. So I'm just going to quickly run through uh, the draping process. So first, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to bring in an image. So I'm going to type in xref. Uh, that's an AutoCAD command. So I'm just going to use attach image. And uh, I'm going to choose one of the images. Click OK. And then I'm going to drag this one to cover some of the surface. Maybe move this little bit. Yep, that's it. And then I'm going to select my surface. I'm going to click on drape image, select the and then type in the random material. Make sure that you select the uh, image and the surface. Click OK and then select the image and then delete it and then get rid of this box. Select it, go to object viewer. And then if you rotate it, you should see the draped image. So that is simple. Um, so next thing what we're going to do is we're going to see how to actually place some 3D blocks on top of your surface. And the problem is uh, whenever you place something, it may not go on top of the exact surface because there might be multiple surface. It might be snapped to a different surface. So a lot of things could happen. So how to move the block on top of a particular selected surface. So that is what we're going to see. OK, so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to see I'm going to show you how to insert a 3D block. Uh, so that's a regular AutoCAD command type in I and press enter. And um, so you get to see the block insert command option. So I'm going to click on browse. I'm going to my AEC data set. I got blocks folder. So these things you can get it from the exercise, uh, the description box as well. So I put in the exercise uh, files in there. OK, blocks. I'm going to choose turbines. Click open. Click OK. And I'm going to place it on top of my surface. And then uh, let me clone it. OK. Just for the exercise sake. And then um, so now we're going to move these blocks on top of the surface. So if I select this one and then go to object viewer, since we have only one surface, it might be, but no. So it's actually, you can see that it's not on top of the surface. So it's like that. And some of them are just in other elevations. So how do we move everything to the top of the surface? So select your surface and then you got an option that says move to surface that's under the surface tools. I'm going to click on the drop down. And then I'm going to choose the option that says move block to surface. And then I'm going to choose the block and then click OK. And now I'm going to select all of them. Go to object viewer. And you can see now it is on top of the surface. Pretty neat. OK. All right. So that is moving 3D objects on top of the surface. So another thing that we could also do is uh, we can create a point group and then add these blocks onto the surface and things like that. So those ones I'll do it as another simple uh, video demo that you can do it. And also I'll be doing another one for multi view blocks. So that's actually a really cool one and hardly people know it exists. So we will do something on multi view blocks as well. All right. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, just put it onto the comment when I have some time. I'll come and respond to you guys. Thank you so much.